Hello my friends, well today I've come out to Hlindinas, which is uh, in Snowdonia. It's a lovely little lake and it's reasonably quiet apart, although there's quite a few cars here today, so we'll see anyway. Um, what we have here, we have um, some nice picturesque little boat houses here. Uh, on the road further up there, we pass on the way in, there's a nice red brick house, which from the other side where we'll be going after, you can get some nice uh, reflections when the lake is nice and still. And the best time, time of the year for that, or best time of the day I should say, is always in the morning when it's still. I don't know the science behind it, but it's always nice still. And if you get it just timed right, you'll also get a nice little bit of mist hovering over the water also. Um, but there's a nice waterfall up there. We're gonna go up the top uh, so we can get an elevated view looking down on Lindinus. And there's a walkway going towards um, Bed Gallet that way, uh, following the stream. I've never been before, so we'll go and have a look at that anyway. Um, who knows, sometimes you, know, you win some, you lose some, don't you? So uh, we might find something good, unexpected. We might not. Anyway, let's enjoy what we've got. I'm gonna take another picture here. Okay, so I took a shot here. There's the uh, boat houses over there. You can't zoom into. Wrecked. Going across there, you'll be able to see the house, red brick house, coming into view there. And it makes a lovely reflection in the water. When it's smooth, obviously, as you can see this now, it's not smooth. Now, for this shot, I put a polarizer on and I've shot low. Reason for that, I wanted to get these rocks in here and the grass is on that side. It's just a lovely leading line and the nice autumn colours, which was another reason why I decided to come here today, because the autumn colours are not at the best, but they're starting to show, and it's a lovely, um, just a lovely area. You can see down there, there's one or two things starting to change colour. We've got a lovely sky, okay? Today we've got a little bit of blue sky, but thankfully we've got a lot of white cloud and some dark grey ones around. Okay, when we get at the top, which I'm going up, up there to get an elevated view looking at the lake down here, um, we might be able to see Snowdon, which is sort of in that direction over there. Okay, so anyway, moving on to the waterfall first. Let's, uh, let's get moving. Okay, we've reached some of the waterfalls. There's more water here than I've ever seen before, which is looking quite nice. I don't know how far up we can go, but I might just have a little nose to see. I'm going to turn around now. I've taken a picture. If it's any good, I'll put it on for you. Uh, it's only just literally, as you see, away from the actual lake. And there's those canoeists again enjoying themselves and the boat houses in the distance. We've got some nice, bit of nice colour, which is, which is good. You can see all the bracken here turning. Okay, let's go and see what else we can find. Thank you. 
Okay, so we've reached the uh, the hill that I said I wanted to come on. Uh, so you got this aerial view of Clendinas. You can see down there if I zoom in the bridge and the path. There's people down there. It's quite a steep path. It's made it harder for me today because I've got a bit of a head cold, so my breathing's not quite as right as it should be. And there's the entire lake. Now I've took a shot from here, which I will put up after. I've took the camera off, as you can see, the tripod. What I like about this composition, you can see roughly where I am now. You've got the tree, this dead tree here in the foreground. Uh, it was slightly leaning back a little bit because you've got Snowden and all over there. Okay, it's the clouds are there, but the clouds are giving it some lovely definition. Uh, I think it was ISO 100 F13 at, uh, or F14 at 1 13th of a second, something like that it was. And I put a 0.9 grad soft grad in just to balance down them, them clouds to make it a little bit more moody. So there's less work to do when I just convert it to JPEG to show you. But it's a lovely view, as you can see. Um, but last time we were up here, it was chucking it down with rain and it got windy. I can turn around, we can actually see a little bit there's blue sky around which is quite nice because the clouds are with it that's what makes it nice we couldn't see any of these mountains behind us last time because it was uh, it was just that claggy it got windy which it is now and uh, we decided to make our way back down when we got back down to around about that plateau down there the sun actually did break through coming through over there through that little uh, line there and we had a nice rainbow believe it or not we were so lucky we had to act really quickly anyhow I'm gonna make my way back down now I'm gonna have a little walk around down the river new territory for us both okay so let's get moving <sighs> okay so just stop for a drink, obviously. And also, so you're overlooking the beautiful view behind me, Clindinas. Um, you're halfway down. Um, been lovely, really. Beautiful, uh, really enjoying it. Weather's perfect, great clouds. Um, what I was saying before with some of the shots, um, I put a grad on, that helps reduce the sky to help balance out the exposure so it's quicker to do when you're processing because these are uncompressed raw have to put them, process them through to turn them into JPEGs and then I can post wherever I post. Um, what you'll find with mine though, they're, they're genuine pictures, you know, I take it, it's just a quick tweak here and there and then what you get is a true representation of what you're seeing. Um, none of this grossly oversaturated crap that appears on quite a lot of sites unfortunately these days, we live in a make believe world. But I'll leave it there on that one because uh, maybe we can go in to have a chat about that another day. Um, the other thing, when I was shooting down there, I had a polarizer on. Now, a polarizer, just like the Grad, is a tool to trade for uh, photographers. Only use them when you need them. And uh, like the Grad's to help balance out and keep the exposure so you haven't got bright contrast in the sky and shadows there. It helps balance it all out so you get a better overall picture. The polarizer, polarizer which I use down there on water, that's a great tool because it cuts through reflection. So any glare that you get coming off the um, the water you can cut through and you can actually see the colours underneath in, in the uh, lake or pool or whatever it is you're doing. Uh, also great for if you're shooting through a window you can take away your own reflection. So they're good. Um, the other thing about shutter speeds, um, my go-to is uh, like on the waterfall, um, I think I'll put it up on here for you, it's about a fifth of a second because I like to shoot a, a realistic as possible image in a two-dimensional way. So that means the landscape that you see all around us is nice and static and sharp. But if, and I use the word if there's motion, which case obviously there was because it's a waterfall, I like that to re uh, portray as motion, but keeping a lot of detail in as well. Now the common mistake a lot of photographers will use is that they'll actually just put it on for 30 seconds and it'll show white like milk. Um, Okay, you're getting the motion, but it's just washed out. You only need, really, about a fifth of a second. Three pointers, I'll say. There's a lot more, but three main ones, really. Uh, first one is the speed of that motion. Is it an F1 car, or is it just a little bit of water? Bear that in mind. Um, second one, how, how far away is that? 
from your lens to the motion because the further away you are, like now, and I move, it just appears, you know, uh, slower. But if I come closer and do it, it'll appear a lot quicker. So uh, bear in mind the distance. And then the third one is the direction of that motion. Because is it going across, which will look a lot faster than it is if it's coming either towards or flowing away from you. So uh, then you can determine. But my go-to, and I say it's a go-to, is about a fifth of a second, so retain a nice bit of um, you know, detail. Uh, and then I'll adjust. It might have to be a little bit faster than that if there's more flow in it, or if there's a little bit of a trickle, not much, then it'll be a bit slower. Okay, so them to bear in mind. Okay then, so just taking this view, and then we're gonna go down. I don't know what we'll see. We'll have a look. Uh, if there's not much there, then we'll call it a day, but uh, we'll ask it. Okay then, so I've got my trusty remote, so I'll switch you off now. Okay, so I've come down the stream here. Uh, as nice as it is, there's no real water cascades or anything waterfalls but I sort of guess that anyway because of the terrain and the geography knowing the road uh, the clues in waterfalls it has to fall I think I've said that before it's just a smooth flowing river there's one or two rocks sticking up here and there for the flow to deviate and give a few little uh, deviations of the water around them but to be honest it's quite nice um, as you can see maybe behind me the rivers a few a bit of livestock around a few cows over there um, but nothing much so um, yeah so I think I'm gonna call it a day there. We'll go back now to the car, make my way home. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have. It's uh, been a nice outing. Uh, look out for this. I'll probably put this on um, maybe midweek. A uh, little word about next week. And I am off to uh, the lakes just for a couple of days with a couple of my photography friends. We ones we went to uh, the Brecon Beacons. We're having a few days up in the lakes. So, uh, I won't be taking this vlogging camera with me because uh, the heavy or whatever I want to travel light. Uh, however, what I will do, I will use my phone, which is okay. Um, won't be quite as good a quality of picture, but it'll still give you um, some lovely views of the lakes. Uh, it should be peak time also for the um, yeah for the uh, awesome colours. Okay, so we'll call it there. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye bye. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say thank you very much for watching. If you've stayed with us, uh, you can see the photos on Mark Pierce Photography Snapshots or Mark Pierce Photography Gallery. They're the single shots on my favorite ones. Some of them obviously will be appearing on here if you stick with us and watch it up to the end. Uh, Again, thank you very much, and uh, keep an eye out for this one coming up in the legs. Hopefully it should be good for you. Okay, so thank you very much, and until next time, stay safe, take it easy. Bye for now.